なぜ丁寧な方法で挨拶するのが適切ではないんでしょうか Yeah, it's a little funny to be saying it's not polite to be polite. Fine, thank you, and you is the most formal, most polite thing to say. Shouldn't you say that always? But the truth is that Americans, Canadians, Irish people, Scottish people, pretty much everybody except British speakers living and born and raised in London,、um, very quickly drop out of formal English. So, you know, when somebody asks you, How are you? And you've met them before, even in a business setting. Say you're at a conference and you met this person the day before, and you had dinner after the meetings, and then you, you, know, you go to bed and you come down for the meetings that next day.、Um, you know this person, you've talked to them before. So if they ask you, how, Hey, how are you today? and you say, Fine, thank you, and you, it's strange. It's, Too formal for the situation, and it's kind of pushing them away. When you get so formal, it's like, I don't know you, you're a stranger to me, I'm going to be very polite because I don't know you, but you know, and this is someone we know. So then it's like not right. You should look inside, the person's asking for a reason, and in Canadian, American, New Zealand, Australia, Ireland, or Scotland, We answer truthfully. Oh, I slept well. I'm, I'm good. Oh, I didn't sleep so good. I'm a little tired. I need some coffee. How about you? You know? So it's important that we drop out of this standard rote statement, fine, thank you, and you, which sounds almost a little robotic sometimes, and start to react to people and situations naturally. 日常会話や映画のフレーズの中で、What's up というフレーズを耳にしますが、どのような意味なのでしょうか、uh, ?What's up? Yeah, it、uh, doesn't appear in a lot of textbooks.、Um, what's up or what's happening? They actually came new to the language in the 1970s from television shows that were popular.、Um, people before that didn't really ask each other that question to greet each other. And、uh, basically, it's just asking about. Like any what question is, is talking about your daily life. So if you're waking up, going to school, eating lunch, coming home, eating dinner, going to sleep, waking up, going to school, and just doing the same routine things that you always do every day, the answer to what's up or what's happening is nothing much. What about you? Unless something special happened. Say you saw a wonderful movie. What's up? Oh, hey, I saw this great movie the other night, you know, blah, blah, blah.、Um, maybe a vacation's coming up and you want to share that with somebody. So, what's up is just what's going on in your daily life. What's going on is another way people will ask that, what's happening. The big difference is the how question is looking, asking you to look inside and how are you feeling? Is it a good day for you? Are you feeling okay? Not so good? Pretty good? The what question, any what question, what's up, what's happening, is more about the daily life stuff. And if it's just routine, nothing much, what about you? That kind of thing.